Hello YouTube, welcome on back. Uh, after after seeing that the grass is not always greener on the other side, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna play this map. We're gonna continue on with it uh, and see what we could do. I, I really do think the space race is reasonable. We might not even have to war. If I can just get a few cities in here, uh, basically get to shipbuilding and use our economic abilities. That being said, we might take over Brazil uh, just because he's got some coastals and stuff going on. Um, we've got a, a couple weird setups. I'm not married to this, but if we are going to go owls, maybe we want to go with something like this. Uh, again, kind of weird settling the campus here, but we can get the campus there. Seems okay. Um, and this leaves us with like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cities. Something like that, maybe? Uh, in any case, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how this goes. Uh, it does look like we're going to hit a Dark Age, though. Potentially. Unless I'm willing... See, this is so far away. 20 turns on this. Um, I do need to clear this Barb Camp, which has been a problem. Getting a Warrior might help with that. I kind of just want my traders, though. We do have some Coastal Trade opportunities. Uh, maybe not with Beijing quite yet. But with Rio, potentially. Especially once this city is there. So, we'll see. Maybe open up the trade route to Beijing from the cap. Which seems nice. Um, Governor-wise, am I ready for owls? What's my next economic slot? If I'm going to send out trade routes, Caravanseries is really not that bad. Medieval Heroics, fantastic for naval space race. Free inquiry. Yeah, that's, that's true, PB. If I can avoid uh, meeting people for the next 10 turns, maybe we can do something like that. And am I ready for owls? Pingala seems fine too. Builders seem fine too. I think I'm ready for owls. Although that's a neat uh, policy switch in your back pocket if you want to save it. Now I can put discipline. I do have Amani about to establish too, it's true. I really don't think I'm going to be able to avoid one era score for the next 10 turns on a naval map like this. It's too likely that someone comes and finds us. Christina is right here. So it's pretty likely that once I settle this city, she's going to find me. So I'm just going to let it all happen, and we'll just get whatever age we find. Interesting that he went with owls. Yeah, and we can get extra envoys when we send uh, trade routes to... To uh, oof, that actually hurts. I'm gonna do this like this. Not building builders. Seems okay. Yeah, we do have uh, really good music. And I have my three galleys. Yeah, there's a city or two or maybe three up there if we can get there before the AI. That's Spain right below me? Come on. <laughs> uh. It's 
so we're so cramped. Hello, Christina. So about that naval dom, though. It's like right there. Like everybody's like right there. Kind of brutal. Let's just get our gold cooking and see what happens. With an easy trade range, I, I I appreciate your glass half full approach. Very much so. Oh, there's a wonder. He's got Earth Goddess. The continent over there. Why can't you guys spawn on that continent? Jerks. 12 era score for Golden. Probably not happening in 12 turns. If I could clear this. Oh, this got cleared. Who did that? Did you do that? No, that's what needs to be cleared. Never mind. I'm a derp. I derped. Nothing else for it. I'm a derp. Christina wants to be friends. Let's do it. I don't necessarily have to kill everybody. In fact, I would like my tile improvement in, in some ally lands. So if we time our wars correctly, maybe we can keep some friends. Coastal base into space is uh, pretty interesting. Why don't you have this land? Poor Scout doesn't have anything to do. Good news is, it seems like Inland Barbs thus far. I don't know that I want to friend him. However, um, the gold is about to get better. What sucks about this is you never build ro roads. Um, in terms of vision, I mean, this is decent for just getting the envoy. I can move Amani then. If that were one turn earlier, it would have been pretty sweet. Organisms don't think of sea. Okay, there's Barrier Reef and Hermetic Order. I guess I get this later. Or do I just grab I just grab it now. Cause then I can move Amani and we keep our Auckland Sues. And it's like there's no real benefit to sending him here. There's no roads that we're gaining. It's the same amount of gold per turn. And we just get an envoy. So we should have five there, which means Amani can move, which means we could have sued Card Cardiff for the era score. Although, again, I don't know how I feel about giving them a bunch of tiles. Okay. Maybe we will find a golden. <laughs> City losing loyalty, really? 
Two turns until growth, though. Not super worried about it. Yeah, 10 turns on the golden probably doesn't happen. Do I make friends with him for now? We could certainly kill China. Instead of uh, Brazil. Although he's on a different continent and he's not. But killing China would allow us to maybe settle down here some. So why don't I make friends with him for now? And I think I hard tech state workforce. Kind of nowhere near harbors at the moment. Builder would be nice, especially with Auckland going. Let's get our gold per turn going. Kind of weird. Kind of a weird game, yeah? Oh, another wonder here? I don't think I'm finding these other ones, though. Let's move up. Start clearing these barbs out so we can settle. Oh, don't kill my... Okay. Don't kill my archer. City state over there seems all right. Do I think the devs purposely lower the AI uh, AI's priority for Petra Mausoleum because they know players love tile porn? Probably yes. Uh, it's my theory why you can get Mahabadi these days. Uh, ba back in back in more vanilla versions of the game, uh, it was very difficult to get Mahabadi away from the AI. Uh, but now that Diplo Victory is a part of the game, I think that I think they've lowered the priority so that players can get it, so that they can get their Diplo shenanigans. Just a theory. I don't know that for sure. Need some housing in the cap. All right, so we're going into a normal age, which is a bummer. I think I would have preferred the glorious heroic in the medieval. But two more traders coming out this turn. All right, that's political philosophy, not a first meet on Zanzibar. They're influenced by an unmet player. I don't want to meet them. But they've coded Petra to always take it from Hogue. Oh no. <laughs> Really, Hug? That's the worst. All right, so what's our plan? Get to political philosophy, uh, get some cities down, and see what we can do. Get harbors going, uh, which means I need some culture. I would really like to have uh, veterancy. Taruga gives me a uh, envoy. It gives me double envoy. And if I put in diplomatic league, it gives me triple envoy. And I've got enough trade routes coming that I don't have to grab this right right away. Although, it will clear their quest before the start of the next era. Is that worth it? Or do I just want to go for the instant Suze with Diplo League? I 
could Suze it right now, actually, with both of these traders. And then we get Era Score. But what does the Era Score do for us? Again, I don't think we can hit the Golden. I might be able to find that. I might be able to find this. But that still doesn't get us all the way to 10. So I don't think I worry about it. And we'll start next era with it. Already got 40 gold per turn. And I just want to get more traders. I need to buy a builder fairly soon. And I'm going to avoid finding these wonders then. Yeah, it's a heat wave here. It's hot this week in Colorado for sure. Where we're going, we don't build settlers. Yeah, I think we do buy settlers with this sieve, yeah? Again, I'm going to avoid this wonder. So many goody huts. As soon as we're at shipbuilding, I might get another scout. Going to a normal age. Disappointing. But I find this to be often the case on naval maps. Uh, and we'll take free inquiry for the Eureka. You find lack of faith, economy, and monumentality is a huge hurdle early game. For me, it is because I, I lean so much on those strategies uh, fairly early on. All right. Now I think it's time for Pingala in the cap. Uh, so, yeah, it does. It certainly slows your expansion quite a bit, which is less than ideal. Next turn, shipbuilding. I have a good amount of money uh, and faith, actually. Monumentality, not even the worst. Uh, we could save all this faith to uh, to maybe buy a great person, save for monumentality at some point. Lots of interesting options. I think I'm going to buy a builder next turn. Like, maybe even here. Get their fish going with uh, Auckland. Better tiles than what they're working. Can bring the last charge over here. All right. Now we can go. Well, let's let the scout find the wonder, actually. And you know what? I really would like to buy another scout. Wait, is that true? Where are the tribal villages? I thought there were a ton, but maybe the AI is grabbing them already? Okay, so there are only two. Possible that the AI is grabbing them already. I thought there were more. Coastal cities to take over from Scotland. Naval Dom looks really nice here. I am still fighting barbs, although conscription is quite a bit of gold. I think with double archer, I don't need discipline. Or Sweden. I didn't mean to say Scotland, Sweden. My bad. My bad.
If, yeah, either way, it's just future Portugal. Yosemite Valley to me. Desert base Yosemite. That is not something you see every day. Do we need to force a Petra over there? I would like to get to Celestial Navigation to get our harbors at least locked in. Oh, wow. Can't even find it, huh? Five turns political philosophy. Not the slowest. I agree, Secret Chief. It's okay. All right, um, four turns, I can run Diplo League and send out a trade route. I've got two more spoken for, so I'm going to still continue to save the Taruga one. Uh, and I'm going to start to take that international one. Auckland's going to put in some work for us this game. But four turns, I can run Diplo League for a turn, or send out one more to Taruga and soothe them. If they're not already soothed? No, they're not. It's my favorite drink. Like drink drink? Like alcoholic drink? Or just like everyday beverage? Look at Dishu. Philip with quite a bit going on there already. Four. I would love to have them. Bevy day average. Uh, I like tea and coffee. The blood of my enemies. <laughs> I hope I don't have too many enemies. Tea and coffee. I don't really drink like soft drinks. I can't even think of, like, something that I enjoy that's not... I mean, like, I like a lemonade. <laughs> alcoholic? Uh, I, alcoholic drinks, I like mules. I like uh, an old-fashioned... St. Euler, thank you so much for the two months. Appreciate you. You've been binging OMM. Keep rocking it, TGM. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome on back. Good to have you here for two months, and thanks for watching. I appreciate that a lot. Kind of going the wrong way if I want to uh, get that goodie hut. Rosemary mint iced tea. That does sound very good. She cleared it. Gosh darn it. Because I have extra vision, I'll take that one last move. All right, so how much is my next settler to purchase? 560? I need more gold. Rum coffee? Ooh. Don't believe in astrology. Alright, where's that? All the way over here? That's not my problem. Not now, anyways. Purchase tiles from Cardiff. I have way too much uh, important stuff to, to spend my money on to buy tiles from Cardiff right now. Um, if we see Amani starting to get established there, I could I could maybe see it.
All right, I'm gonna double back for this and hope hope to grab the goody hut. It's Pingala next turn. Uh, I think I'm saving for settlers. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So it's faster if I go through the city. Yeah, this this is gonna be a problem though. I, I, when you're this contested, friends forward settling you is maybe the most frustrating thing in Civ Six. Moved over here. Politics is the art of the possible. Friendship lasts a good while longer, seventeen turns. All right, so let's take um, Classic Republic. Give me Diplo League. I'm done building traders, so I probably should run colonization, uh, even though we can buy settlers as well. We're going to need more than that. Uh, and then I'm pretty happy to run conscription for five gold per turn. All right, and I've got Diplo League in, meaning that this trade route will be a suzerain. Oh, the Monty was already established there. lame. That's pretty lame. Oracle? Oracle seems viable. I may need to government plaza in the cap. But let's worry about that after a settler or two. And they're going to beat me to this. Another goody hut. Let's see where this goes. Yeah. If she settles this, I, I just have to live with it. Like, I, there's literally nothing I can do about it at the current moment. It's a really nice Yosemite. She's already settled it. This game's pretty scuffed. This game is already pretty scuffed. Nice of her to settle four tiles away from us. Try to block this. Oh, maybe she chickened out. Mysticism. Rip that goody hut. AI grabbing those like they're going out of style. Okay. Um, I don't need Diplo League. Although I could work on Zanzibar. What's this? Train a Spearman? And recruit a great general. Hmm. Is 
So no Coliseum play this game. Probably the best we got. Look at all this. Look at all this land. Oh. Greece? Is that Greece or is that... Is that Greece? Korea? Not sure. Who are you? Never again. Crater Lake and Persia. All right. I guess that's fine. Uh, so we have another trade route capacity. Could buy it, could buy a settler. I want to settle these two islands fast and all of this fast. I need to settle all of this fast. Oh, I did not mean to buy that. That's a whoops. All right. Well, if I'm not buying settlers, then give me the builder. Or give me the trader. I meant to tell them to build a builder. <laughs> Oopsies. How did I lose suzerainship if I wasn't the first suzerain? That's kind of weird, man. I know, but if I didn't get Suzer, if I didn't get the era score for first Suzer, and how did I lose it? Spicy trade routes already. Even like the half science and stuff starts to add up. I don't want whales. Hi, TGM and chat. Hope everyone is having a good day, TGMHI. Miss Emma, thank you so much for the 18 months. Welcome on back. Good to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, all right. Bronze working or campuses? Chopping out all this jungle makes sense. I kind of wish I would have gone Magnus first. There's a lot of good chops in our cap. She's still farting around over here. All right, so let's lock in our harbors. You start a war with her for a settler if I if I wasn't friends possibly depends how I felt about my military at the time I really don't you know I'm gonna send this builder home I didn't mean to buy it there I wish I would have bought it elsewhere does anyone have a farm no. Just 
Sweden. I thought Clay must knock it off. Knock it off. Don't like what you're planning. Trying to weasel your way into my lands. I am not okay with it. Writing is easy. Very happy to lose a population here. Anti weasel, yes, indeed. Let's do this and this then. That's a brave settle, Brazil. Only player in this game more indecisive than me is the AI. She doesn't have money, but I will. Everyone's saying how hot it is today. The talk of the town. Yeah, this is uh this is a bold settle. Curious to see what happens there. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, so if I move here and I move here, she can't actually get up the cliffs. Let's settle this. this way maybe circumnavigate let's figure out where iron is I'm assuming there which doesn't really get in the way of district planning uh, capital likely doesn't have any maybe there this could be an insane industrial zone not here but there was some here might be some there worth settling as well. Um, all right, so I need this city loyalty wise.
I don't know. I think something like that. And then, where's this city going? I need to build loyalty before I can really start snagging these other settles. Although, I might be able to get away with this iron settle. Because th this, there's so much science here. It's like actually nutty. I want to start chopping out things to like put put this stuff in there. So maybe after bronze work, we can go to masonry, buy a builder, and chop this stone for a settler. Seems okay. Not going wonder crazy, of course. Uh, still don't know where my government plaza is going. Kind of weird. I find that to be hard to place on naval games. But I'm trying to be as annoying as possible, or at least <laughs> prevent the AI from annoying me as much as possible with my settles. Oh, oh okay, that's, that's fine. That's actually great. Oh, and there's iron there too. So buy a builder, two turns, I can chop this. I have no farms. No farmable resource. So I might just have to tech plantations. Is China coming for me? Possibly. I already have 125 gold per turn on turn 65. It's pretty nutty. Oh, here's a farm. Perfect. I didn't even see this. Rebellion in 21. Should be okay. All right, so the harbor's better here with this. We could harbor here and do a similar thing and keep slightly better tiles for their for for them to work. Um, it's a five tile mausoleum. Meh. Swedish warrior blocked her own settler. I'm not exactly sure what's happening here. Now, if I settle this particular city, we kind of leave her the option of settling this. Although, moving here doesn't really gain us much. So it's a little interesting. So am I committing to this harbor? I suppose. I override two hills for districts rather than two flatland tiles. It's a small consideration to build the worst harbor. I don't think so. <laughs> who knows, man? Each of us is people who cannot find. All right, any policy switches in order? No, gold, gold, the production's okay. 
Don't have. Oh, I do have an envoy to send out. And then a three turn policy switch seems okay. So let me run Diplo League again. And then I guess let's unlock industry and commercial hubs. Where's GP going? GP? Mm, I do want irrigation. One turn for that is fine. Four turns on growth because loyalty matters. Do I have any good industries? That's a good question. I'm fairly certain the answer is no. One thing this la this ha this uh, map is not giving us is a bunch of those. One, two, three. Also, not an amazing mausoleum anywhere. All right, well, we're expanding. Uh, we've got gold per turn uh, because we're Portugal and that, that makes sense. Uh, seven trade routes at a sub turn 70 is pretty ridiculous. Uh, we've met all but one sieve. So I can get one more free trade route and then we're gonna get our harbors and commercial hubs and we're gonna get all the gold per turn. Still don't know the ultimate direction of this game. Um, but we'll, we'll, we will, uh, we'll find that out later on. So thank you, YouTubers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and join us live in person on the internet. We'll see you then.